Hey everybody, it's How To Tuesday. Today I am here with Anthony Randazzo in Venice, Louisiana. We're at Paradise Plus and he is going to show us a couple of different variations for the Palomar knot. The Palomar knot is definitely one of the strongest knots and it's an easy knot to tie, but we may be using it a little bit differently than Anthony. What are you doing with the Palomar knot? Well, it's a great knot. You know, it's one of the first knots that I learned how to tie as a fisherman, and obviously, you know, it's been proven to be super strong, but a lot of people find a challenge with it and using it in anything other than a loop, a closed loop. Mm -hmm, like the eye of a hook. Because when we double the line for the Palomar knot, we pass it through the eye of the hook. So the part that I figured out was that I didn't need the eye of a hook. I could tie it in my hands and put it around anything. So basically, I'll take the double line that we start with with a Palomar, and I'll make an overhand loop. And this is the original loop. And I'll just put the whole overhand knot through the loop. Okay. Now, this is the Palomar knot. You can't really see it because of the, the cable here. But I can put this over the spool of a spinning reel when I'm spinning up a brand new spinning reel. Mm -hmm. and just set it right over the top pull it tight mm -hmm. i can put it on a spinner bait or any jig spinner that has an open loop like this i can just set it in there and pull it tight mm -hmm. can do it on a a boat uh dock line or whatever you know if you really think you need that much strength and you're not but it's super easy to do and this gives you far more uses for the palomar knot i'm going to basically pick up some braid in a minute i'm going to tie the same knot i'm going to put it on the spinning reel i'm going to show you how to make your connection to your spinning reel spool so strong that if you actually hook a big fish that takes all your line and, and spools you, you have a chance to stop it. Mm -hmm. It's not one of those things that's just gone forever. So you, you want to have, you know, a good knot at your lure, your rig, and you want to have a good knot at your spinning reel. So why not use the Palomar knot? Sure. I like it. Let's go over it one more time with, the, with, with that deal. Okay. I'll just untie it all the way just talk us through it because a lot of the people are listening to audio so yes. you're doubling the line doubling the line normally we pass it through the eye of the lure mm -hmm. but instead we're going to make an imaginary eye of the lure right here we're going to make an overhand knot go through one time one time and we're going to put that whole knot through this big loop mm -hmm. and this becomes our palomar knot mm -hmm. it's right there if you pull it down Okay. So let's try it with braid on a spinning reel. Okay. It's a little harder to see with the fineness of the braid, but if you use the information we just gave you and you listen and think about it, it it's the same uh, knot, same uh, policy here. So you have that doubled. That's it. So I'm going to make an overhand loop in my hand, just like that. This is the original loop. And I open it up, pull that double overhand knot through the loop keeping it like this mm -hmm. so that I can now just put it over the spool of the spinning reel and cinch it down that easy okay and one last thing it, it does pull down really really tight but I'll cut the tag end off like everyone does on every knot and just for insurance I take this braided line and make a half hitch and put it over the spool, pull it tight. Another half hitch, pull it tight. Now you can spool this reel up just like you would have any other time. If you were using tape or super glue or anything to hold your line to that spool before, you don't need it anymore. Mm -hmm. you just, now, you, even if it doesn't have a rubber gasket inside the spool, you can do that to a spare uh, to a bare spool? Is that what you're talking about? A bare metal spool. This one just so happens to have that rubber ring in there, mm -hmm. but it will work exactly the same on every spool. Hmm. Good tip because the way that I've been doing it takes a lot more time. I'll do a... Uh, uh, I'll do a uni knot with some monofilament, put on 10 yards of monofilament, then another uni, double uni to the braid, and sure. then do that. But Absolutely. if you could just do that with the braid, that would be, that'd yeah. save a lot of time. It's a great time saver. And, you know, rigging our gear takes a long time, right? So every, every minute counts. Mm -hmm. This makes your job a lot easier, and it's the strongest hookup to your spinning reel you can get. All right. Love it. All right. Thanks, Anthony. You're That's welcome. it. See you.